my boss said that when there are thumbnails with open mouths, it just does better on YouTube. <laughs> so anyway, what have I got to lose? Welcome back to the channel YouTube. Today we're going to talk about how we can remove certain objects from your images. Recently, I did a photo shoot of a bicycle or electric bike. And a lot of people was asking me how I removed the hand and how I removed like footprints on the beach. And today we're going to get exactly to how I did that. Be a oh, you. Said, my name is Shut up! Okay, so the first thing obviously you're gonna do is bring the picture or the raw image into Lightroom and start working on your exposure. Now, I've said this before, um, I prefer starting off by using the auto exposure tool on Lightroom simply because I don't trust my own eyeballs and I don't trust the monitor that I'm staring at because once you put it onto different monitors and when you go and look at it on different screens and phones, the image just is overexposed or underexposed. So I like starting with the auto exposure tool. Once I click the auto exposure on this image, you can see that the bike, which is the subject, is slightly dark and dull because you know half of the image is this white, bright sky. Um, so obviously that the auto exposure is trying to you know dial that back a bit so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to increase the exposure of the image so that the bike lightens up a bit and to bring down the sky i'm going to use a gradient filter um i'm gonna you know darken it quite a bit so that i can not only bring back the sky but also bring back the blues in the sky now remember i can only do this because i shot the initial picture uh in raw now if you haven't seen my raw versus jpeg uh, video that I've done a, a few months ago at this point um, go ahead and check it out I'll drop it in the card uh, just above once you're done with the exposure I also you know go and edit co uh, the colors on the HSL tool and maybe bring in a few more masks here and there and improve the clarity on the bike itself now all of this is up to you it's to your preference because the magic happens once all that is done the magic is well removing that hand and clearing out the beach um, so what you need to do is you need to move this onto Photoshop because you can't do image like manipulation like that on Lightroom as far as I know. Once you right click on the image at the bottom and click on edit in Photoshop and you know open it up on Photoshop, you need to go to the left hand toolbar and select the pen tool. So like I said, you know, the pen tool is your friend. So if you don't know how to use the pen, please go and uh, I'll watch a tutorial on it. I'm pretty sure there's tons of tutorials on how to use the pen tool on Photoshop, Photoshop, Photoshop. Keep saying Photoshop with an accent. Trace out, so you need to be very careful when you trace out the arm. The point where the fingers come in contact with the handle, you have to be super accurate because you want to preserve the handle and just take away the hand. So trace around the hand and once you're you know, far from the handle, you can be very haphazard and just trace around it. So once you trace around it, you need to make sure that you hold control on the keyboard and click on the path section on the top right corner or wherever you have the paths uh, toolbar. Click on it and it'll you know bring the infamous running ants on Photoshop. So once you have that down, go on to the top left, click on edit and go to content aware fill and then let Photoshop do its thing. Photoshop is pretty clever or pretty smart in figuring out which areas of the image to sample. But if you can see in this in, uh, example here, um, Photoshop is also taking into account the bike, the handle of the bike and some of the trees. Um, so just paint that out of the selection and then you can see that, you know, Photoshop is going to use the areas that are green to sample uh, and replace the areas where the hand is. Uh, and once you do that, just hit apply and OK and Bob's your uncle and the hand's gone. It's pretty amazing. You can do the same thing with um the footprints on the sand and the and all the you know the disturbance on the sand as well but i prefer using the spot healing brush the reason i do this is because i know this image is going to live on the internet it's not going to be blown up anywhere and people aren't going to notice the inconsistencies of the sand and the grain so once i do take my spot healing brush i always you know give it a light feather um and always increase the size of the brush depending on the size of the footprint that I'm trying to remove. Um, and then once I start hitting them one by one, I can, you know, put some time into it and clear out 
um, or smoothen out the sand. Now, the more you time that you put into it, the better your image is going to look. So that's up to you if you want to spend more time and you know get each, each and every detail. Uh, for example, in this image, there were a few bottle caps that were lying around in the back of the bike. I just removed them as well because they tend to be super distracting. And once you're done, that's it. It's as easy as that. It doesn't take more than five to 10 minutes for you to do this. Just hit Control S to save the image and open it back on Lightroom. Do a couple of final edits, tweak the image a little bit here and there and crop it for Instagram and you're done. I hope this video was helpful. I know it's been a while since I made a video and I apologize for that, but I thought we were in the middle of a pandemic, but apparently not. Things are as busy as busy can be. Or I don't know if that's even right English. But anyway, it's exhausting. I just wrapped up a bunch of, you know, work that I had to do for a couple of, for about a month, I think now. So I've got a bit of more free time. So I'm, you know, focusing on the YouTube a little bit more again. Um, yeah, keep an eye on my Instagram because I do post a lot more there. Um, and yeah, like the video, subscribe and share it if you think somebody can benefit from this video. Until then, 